My last words is a metaphorical concept of basically waking up every morning with a gun to your head. And it's like, if this was your last day on earth, what would you do? What would you say? Who would you go talk to? What dreams and what talents would you want to get out in the world? My last word isn't about dying, it's about living. It's about getting rid of that old person that's you know not doing the things they need to do, that's worrying about society and how they view them, not chasing their dreams, not chasing their goals. I wrote this song maybe like four months ago. And at that point it was like the end of 2018. And I had been in like a couple just like near like close life or death situations. Like with that, with I had, I had this car fire, there was a house fire, there was a near car accident. But it was weird because after each one of those situations, I made a lot of changes and a lot of positive things. So I was like, wow, imagine if I woke up every morning feeling like it was the last day, how would my life be? How much faster would I move? So that's where the concept came from. What would your last words be if someone put a gun to your head? and said you had two minutes before they shoot. Here were mine. So when I first started making music, I, I started off with poetry and motivational speaking, and I was like traveling as a motivational speaker, going to schools. So that's always been like my like intrinsic goal is to put something into the world that'll last forever. I think it just comes naturally. Like I just like, that's just, that's how I just talk on a regular basis. You know, I'm always trying to just like, mo and I know when I motivate other people, they try to motivate me. So it's like, you know, it's always reciprocated. Wish I could go and revisit the evil I did through the course of my life. Wish I could go back in time, take the wrongs that I did and reverse them to right. Nobody's perfect and I refuse to walk around and try to be this role model that I can't live up to. So I always try to make sure people know like, you know, Dax isn't perfect, you know, I've done some, I've done some dumb shit. You know, so it's like, I, I put it in the start of the song and also I know a lot of people can relate to that too. Wish I could take all the pain, the hurt, the struggle and keep them inside. Wish I could say that I'm sorry to people I broke here before that I die. I'm a very emotional person and I know that sometimes like, I'll say things that I wish I could take back. So that line really just comes, you know, from sometimes I wish I could hold my tongue. Wish I could go back in time to my father, I didn't really mean it. Wish I could go tell my mom that I loved her and all this money I got, I don't need it. So my relationship with my father now is, is, is really dope. I think growing up was a little bit hard because he didn't, he didn't live with us for most of the time and like come back a couple times a year. So that was like me as a child looking at that. But now as I'm older, like we, me and him have made a really, you know, dope effort to try and, you know, talk to each other more and call. So it's, it's dope as shit. A lot of this song is looking into the future and trying to tell like the future Dax who I know is going to be at this point to remember these things that this money doesn't matter and stuff like that. Wish I could go to the church and have talks with the Lord in an effort to conquer my demons. I'm begging and pleading. I'm down on my knees and he's ready to shoot and I'm practically bleeding. Growing up, you know, it was church every Sunday. Mom, you just, you know, beat me to go to church, you know? And um, as I've gotten older, I've stopped going. I pray and stuff, but it, it sort of sucks when you don't get an answer back. And I know, you know, you know, no one gets an answer back, but it's like, you know, I wish I could have those talks. So this is my destiny. I'm finna get dead to the G. Destiny. Dead to the G. I was like, okay, so that works. I just made my own little, you know, my own little way with that. And that line is basically just like, you know, we're all gonna die one day. So it's like, make sure that you, you know, live your life to your fullest and make sure you, you know, you let those talents out and all those things. So that's what that, the course is pretty much about. Somebody please hey, hey, yeah, hey, help me. Uh, these are my last words. Dax! The thought process behind somebody please help me is me talking to myself. You know, there's someone has a gun to your head, but that person having a gun to your head is actually you. Like, let me take this burden off myself. Let me stop worrying about what people think. Let me chase my dreams so somebody is really me. Wish I could go back in time and revisit myself just to make me believe. I had these goals and these dreams in my mind that were mine that I'll never achieve. All of these gifts and these talents were given by God. I was blessed to receive. That came about uh, two and a half years ago when I was playing college basketball. I wrote a poem randomly and I showed it to my teammates and they were like, damn, this shit's crazy, bro. And then uh, that was when I was like, wow, this is my, this is like my first ever like talent. You know, like basketball was just like, I had to work super hard and it wasn't a talent. It was just like something I worked on. So like to write a poem and it to be like dope, I was like, wow. This is, this is dope. I was too busy worried about bitches and money and all of this shit that you people would think. You need help with depression. All of my passive aggressions, I should have confessed them. Sometimes I think to myself, I'm like, am I depressed right now or am I not? Like, how does even someone diagnose that? It's like, what is, what are the criteria for this? But sometimes I sit in like my room and I'm like, how am I feeling right now? Am I, am I sad? Am I happy? And sometimes I'm like, ah, I'm not happy right now. So I do have that struggle with like trying to figure that out. But then I always remind myself that you can't be happy all the time. I learned my lesson. I didn't get nothing but sadness and fucked over all of my blessings. Fucking perfection. I should have walked on my own and not traveled the common direction just to be trending. 
just to be trending. That line right there is another one that's more for like a, the society. Like that one, I don't consider myself like a trend chaser. You know what I mean? I, can, I feel like I do my own thing and just I'm forcing people to fuck with it. Everyone's trying to hop on this quick wave, but you know, every wave comes down. So it's like you're better off just staying consistent with what you do and allowing that to just grow. Wish I would've not held back, wish I would've not felt bad, wish I would've hugged my dad, wish I would've fucked that bitch when I had that chance. You spend all this time holding yourself back and trying to create a good communication based with a woman, right? And then you find out she's fucking someone anyways. And you're just like, damn, I should've just tried when I had the chance. Wish I would've sold my soul just to get fame and all. Should've played basketball, nigga was masterful. I hate to toot my own fucking horn. But like basketball is something I do I do I do two things really well. Basketball and make music. I don't I don't I don't cut hair, I don't I don't do nails, I don't I don't do math. But in terms of basketball, like if I were to just like stop making music right now and train like I used to, I could I could I could go play top pro level overseas right now and I know that. The NBA is a different level. That's a different level. And I, I know I could play in the D League and you know, maybe like scratch out a 10 day contract, maybe potentially, but pro overseas, I could do that. So that's just saying like I could have been playing basketball. That's what that line's all about. And I, 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 I hope people test me on that. I would love to play a bunch of people one-on-one. -on -one. And I got you. Wish I would have never put my time into those people who were never trying to give it to me back. Wish I would have never put my heart into a woman who would break it then allow her just to have a second chance. That all ties back from she, the She Cheated Again song. And there's actually this whole EP coming out called Fuck Love. That's just like a whole like, series of shit so yeah it ties into that wish i would have let him see what i was really dealing with instead of trying to hide it on a motherfucking track and blow a milli just to prove that i'm a legend in the making just to show them what it looks like when i get it right back and these are my last words my messages and my music are not only for other people they're also for myself and i consider them affirmations which is why i use a lot of personal pronouns so that way not only when i say the words but when people say them they're talking about themselves so it's also a reminder dear god not gonna lie i might need your forgiveness I knew that no one was watching, but in my last minutes, I now know that you were a witness. Growing up, like my mom always told me about these stories where it's like people, they won't believe in God, but then as soon as they're in a life or death situation, they start calling for his name. So for me, it's like that realization of, wow, now it's about to be over. So now I'm really looking at, at God and I'm just like, yo, we, like, no more talking. Like, me, me and you need to talk now. So I'm repenting now that it's ending. Why? Because I need to make it to heaven. Born as a sinner, die as a winner, period, just like the end of a sentence. I swear the devil is watching me. He tried to make me his prodigy. An idle mind is a dangerous mind. If you sit there during a day and you start thinking to yourself, you'll realize that a lot of your thoughts are like negative. Our biggest hater isn't like the people on social media. Our biggest hater is usually ourselves. This is my fucking apology. I don't want nothing but honesty. Heaven or hell which is calling me. And to the bitch that broke my heart, I just hope that you can sleep. Knowing every single man you'll meet will never be like me. You can run, you can hide, but you will see me in your dreams on TV. I'm not pointing out one girl. I, like for me, this is like my motivation in life where it's like anyone who does me wrong or anyone who like does something, they're gonna have to watch me for the rest of their life, whether they like it or not, because I'm gonna work so hard to make sure you see me and you're gonna have to deal with it. So that's where that line is not just about that one girl. It's about a whole slew of people. It's Dax! Picture this. You're broke. Poor. Sitting in your dorm room and you make this song on your laptop and you, re and you record it yourself. You put it on the internet, and this shit goes fucking 10 times platinum. Everyone in the world is hearing it, but everyone hearing it doesn't know who the fuck made it. So I always told myself, yo, I'm not gonna allow that to happen. So I'm always gonna say my name in my song somewhere. So my shit is Dax. You're not gonna forget that. I might say it multiple times. I might say it 10 times. So a motherfucker in Italy or Zimbabwe hears it, they're gonna say, okay, it's this that motherfucker Dax. It's Dax. It's Dax! It's Dax! It's Dax! It's Dax! It's Dax!